All right, did a video the other day about this Polish Levu, where I was out in the woods and everything, but the video was like really long. I'm gonna make a short video here, just basically an overview of it. Just kind of give you an idea exactly what it is, everything like that. Anyway, this is just two Polish military ponchos buttoned together to set it up. Kind of loose here at first. Got two sets of poles and stakes. These generally come with it. I have seen that some of these come with three poles. I'm not sure if they're shorter or what, but I just I know that these four poles right here work really good and perfect with this. So I don't know if they're if they're different sizes. Because I've seen people with shorter poles or six poles come with three poles in each bag. Not sure what the difference is. Let's set this up. Well, this is just a brief overview. This is how big it is. Um, like I mentioned in my last video, I have a size three large and a size two medium halves. However, they work together fantastically well. They are not that much different in size. I will, I will get the uh, correct sizes um, when I can. But. How much room is in here? Headroom. I have like this much headroom up here. Fantastic. And it's, I don't know, it's probably in the upper 30s right now, 38, 39. I can already feel the warmth in here from the sun. Just beating on, just coming down on this, even the, even the canvas is warm. It's amazingly how warm it is plenty of room. I'm 5'7". Plenty of room. Plenty of room for two as well. Give you a quick look real quick on the outside. There it is closed up. Um, I don't have it buttoned right here, but you can button these Put this flap over it, put that flap over it, all the way down, and you've got a really good rain barrier. Same way goes with this. Here's the armholes. Get them buttoned up. It's hard for rain to get down in there because it's got a flap over a flap, like right here. Here's the one I left open. Button it. Button it open. Kind of lays on that piece of flap, lays over. Perfect rain barrier. I left this one open, however, on purpose. If you want to take, uh, make room, and and, and uh, be wary about weight, the pole on the inside. Get you a piece of paracord. 
measured out the length and uh, cut your pieces get cut your stick that long see up there I'd recommend using a tennis ball or some kind of of a padding up here at the top so you just in case you don't rip it it is heavy-duty canvas it is pretty dang close to the United States military pup tent style canvas pretty dang close just as tough even has that same smell to it a little bit of a breeze going on out here not too much take you inside video I do want to make sure to let people know I never really see too many people talk about this, but the, there are differences in sizes. There's a size one, two, and three. Size one is a smaller, size two is a medium, size three is a large. How you tell that? Three grommets here at the end is the large. Just stick out. See that right there? Two grommets is the medium. They sent me this by accident. It is no big deal. It works together well. Like I said, I will purchase the the uh, correct sizes for each one, and I'll have two that way. But see, there's three, large one, size two, or two. You see, they're not that much difference in size, really. Plenty of room. Plenty of room. I'm laying down here, feet at one end. Plenty of room. Plenty of headspace. I look up there, I still have, oh, probably foot, foot and a half. And let's just darken it up just a little bit. Closed. Gotta hold that together. It's pretty dark in here. Pretty dark in here. And uh, you know, if you like to sleep late, it stays dark. Pretty cool. I love it. I love this thing. Can't wait to get out and use it. Second time I've even set it up. Just wanted to set it up and give a brief overview of the Polish will do. Heavy duty canvas, I got this from Military Mart, and uh, it still had the tags on it. So it appeared to be unissued. And one side is made 1974, the other side's 1976. I've seen them all the way in the 80s and things like that as well. But like I said, it just appears to be unissued and uh, just in storage. So it's excellent. <laughs> so it's in excellent condition. It's in light new. But, uh, it works it'll work and there's all kinds of mods and things you can do to it you can search through YouTube and just see dozens and dozens of uh, videos of people using them and modifications that they do to them and just all kinds of stuff Went wood burning stoves in it during the winter excellent uh, it's not something I would probably use for summer it'd be rather warm and plus it doesn't have a floor in it mod one though that's the thing but it'd be rather warm in the third time it was hold, it holds it it's, it's quite a bit warmer in there than it is out here already just from being in the sunlight secondly you can even feel the canvas by touching it it's warm anyway that's just a quick review overview of it like I said my last video I did on it was 30 some minutes long I don't want to make this one too long just a brief overview killer piece of kit excellent piece of gear solid bomb proof and it will work fantastically well and I got it from military mark um, over in the UK about the best place you can get them so and the best prices too anyway 